Welcome back to the lead. I'm Jake Tapper, and our politics lead. My conversation with Republican presidential candidate, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, continues. Governor, I don't need to tell you that there is a fierce, nasty race going on just between Donald Trump and Jeb Bush. It's gotten very, very heated as of late. Uh, take a look uh, at Governor Bush making Trumpian like statements about the Iran deal last night on Stephen Colbert's new late night show. I will build a wall between the United States and Iran and make Mexico pay for it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Trucks, trucks are strong. I will turn the National Mall into a luxury golf course, and China will respect that. Now, uh, it went on from there, and in a clip that apparently was edited out, but Jeb Bush talked about this morning, uh, Stephen Colbert dressed up as Donald Trump with a cotton candy wig uh, and invited Jeb Bush to eat some of the cotton candy, and he did. We haven't gotten to see that delicious uh, satire. Um, these are the two of the front runners of your party. What do you make of this? Well, I think what these two gentlemen have forgotten is that this isn't about them. It's about the American people. And when you see the middle class in this country suffering the way it has 15 years of no increase in their wages, when you see the frustration they feel that Congress hasn't reformed the tax code, dealt with immigration, dealt with uh, Obamacare, and these guys are just throwing, you know, schoolyard insults at each other and think we care. We don't care. We don't care whether they like each other. We don't care if they respect each other. They should be talking about the problems of the American people, and that's not what they're doing. I have to ask you about this move. Uh, yesterday, United Continental CEO resigned in connection to a federal probe of one of your appointees, uh, David Sampson, uh, who headed uh, the New York, New York, New Jersey Port Authority. Apparently, he's accused of using that power to allegedly rack up tabs at posh restaurants, even get the airlines to restore a route from Newark direct to South Carolina near uh, where Sampson vacationed. Now, I know you know nothing about Samson and this United, CE, United Continental CEO, but you appointed him, and this isn't the first time one of your appointees has, has come under legal fire. Should people question your judgment when it comes to your appointees? Jake, you know, I've been in public life now for 13 years, and my entire life has been about making sure the law is enforced, making sure people hold a certain ethical and legal standards um, in their conduct in office. Um, I've stayed by that standard my entire career, and I hold everyone who works for me to that standard. And if they don't hold to that standard, then they're fired. And that's the way it works. And so we'll see what happens with this situation. But the fact is, when you have 60,000 people working for you, there are going to be occasions where someone doesn't hold up that standard. I don't know if that's, this is one of those instances or not, but when I have had instances of that, I've acted strongly and decisively and continue to keep myself where I need to be, which is focusing on the work of the people and making sure that the standards I hold myself to are always the highest standards. Tax policy has emerged as a big issue, and just in the last few weeks, both Donald Trump and Jeb Bush now supporting uh, increasing taxes on hedge fund managers. that are taxed at about 15% right now, making it higher. Marco Rubio says, if you want to raise taxes, the Democratic Party's right over there. Where do you land? I'm not in favor of increasing taxes on anyone. And in New Jersey, um, I've proven that. We haven't raised taxes on anyone in six years. In fact, Americans for Tax Reform just said two weeks ago, that I've vetoed more tax increases than any governor in American history. Um, I've vetoed over 400 bills that the Democratic legislature has sent me that would have increased spending and increased taxes, and every veto has been sustained. Fact is, you either have to hold the line on taxes or you don't. Once you let you and them get their foot in the door, they're coming for your wallet next. Whoever the person in the middle class is who thinks higher taxes on somebody else is going to lead to higher taxes, them it is. So I disagree with Mr. Trump, and I disagree with Mr. Bush on this, and I have a record to show that I not only will cut spending, veto bills that need to be vetoed, but as Americans for Tax Reform said, more vetoes of tax increases than any governor in American history. Far be it for me to advocate in favor of tax increases, but isn't the New Jersey economy kind of a mess and couldn't, isn't more revenue needed? Well, you know, Jake, um, I don't think making government bigger makes an economy better. And the economy is not a mess, by the way. In the eight years before I became governor, they created zero net private sector jobs because they were raising taxes and increasing spending 56%. In the six years that I've been governor, we've created nearly 200,000 new private sector jobs. Uh, that's hardly a mess. Uh, what we're doing in New Jersey is taking some, a state like ours that was on life support, drowned by regulation and higher taxes and higher spending by a liberal Democratic governor and liberal Democratic legislatures, and what we're doing now is releasing it. And it is breathing and doing well. We've got nearly 200,000 new private sector jobs in six years, when in eight years they had zero. 
That's not an economy that's hurting. That's an economy that is coming back, and that's exactly what's happening in New Jersey, because we won't put higher taxes on the backs of the people who already taxed more than enough. Governor Chris Christie, I will see you in a week at the, on the stage at the Reagan debate. Are you ready? I'll be looking for you, baby. Don't you worry. <laughs> Governor Chris Christie, thank you so much. And this programming note, you can catch that next Republican presidential debate right here on CNN. That's coming up one week from today, next Wednesday, September 16th, at the Reagan Library. I will be moderating, believe it or not, and I'm looking for your questions for the candidates. Tweet them to me using hashtag CNN debate, or Facebook is good for that, too. Be sure to tune in to CNN tomorrow for all your politics news. Donald Trump will appear on New Day at 7 a.m. Eastern. Jeb Bush will join me right here on The Lead Thursday at 4 p.m.